Hello, and welcome to this installment of Course Information, the hottest new show to hit the internet. Uh, that's my weak intro, and since this is a Zoom and not a PowerPoint, I'm one take in this, so uh, I'm just going to go with it. Okay, so with this video, what I want to do is I have a couple notes here. I want to talk about the schedule. I want to talk about the readings in the textbook, the evaluations, the kind of week by week plan, and then I'm going to talk about the first reflection. Okay, so let's get let's get into it. I'll start off with the. So you'll notice if you go under the course information on our site that you'll see that there's um, two documents. There's like the syllabus, which is just a much expanded version, because the syllabus has all like the stuff and you might notice I pulled some of it from last course and uh, the reason I actually took down the syllabus is because I made one mistake and I had the course outcomes from the fall class on the winter one but when you look at like what did here maybe I'll just just so I can explain what I mean okay so like if we look at the actual course syllabus you'll see it's like just some of the setup like the how the top is and then the course description is like unique, right? I could read it to you, but it's basically that the idea that this course will follow a, a topical approach to development and aging, meaning we're talking about different topics, not just going through the lifespan, but we are still doing that. Um, and yeah, so I just had to like touch that up a little bit and change like the pre and anti requisites or whatever the learning outcomes yet yeah, to gain knowledge of adult development and aging. Uh, I've been like getting ready to do this video for a while now I'm doing the video and I'm just scrolling past the parts I was going to explain but okay so I'll say this part adult development and aging uh, physical and cognitive development so we're going to be looking a lot at this idea of like yeah how thinking and and the whole it's so, like physical and cognitive development that's like that's a loaded sentence right because those are those are two different yet highly connected things right like you because some of the final stages of brain construction are happening at that time but then there's also like the physical deterioration that happens later in adulthood and and how all that's being um affects how that structure aspect is affecting function or or uh, cognition right how personality plays a role in all of this how looking at some of the social emotional development and, and sexuality and looking at the culture aspect and then the virtual adult thing okay so if you took the fall course there's just basically a thing similar to uh the just a quest assignment just with uh, an older age range i'll explain that in a bit this is what i mean about copying over like course format it's basically the same idea um, literally it's the same book. So if you're in the fall class, it's the same book. We're going to like finish those chapters and you'll notice I've added a lot of additional content and I'll explain that in a sec. But, um, if you go to this, you'll see it and you'll need the connect code because for the quest assignment, you really do need access to the McGraw Hill website. Okay. This is going decent. I think, but I just say that anyways, all this like recommended extra readings and stuff, all of them, basically every single reading that is associated with this course I have for you as like a hard copy in that folder called like course reading archive it's like above all the weekly stuff on our course site Wait. I hope this works in the video okay but anyway so over here yeah if you see this like uh actually you know what because I am not confident that's showing the right screen. Sorry, everyone. I'm just going to sh share it more directly. Okay, so. Now this second one, so you can see like course information. So under that, I'm going to just have all oh, those are hidden. That was the issue. See, that's weird. So that can be. Okay, so that can be hidden even when the main folder is visible. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so then if you look at the course reading archive, and you'll see that each week, um, so say like, for example, this week, now it looks like there's like 100 readings, but you'll see once you see the reflection exercise, I'm asking you to pick, like really to focus in on one of these. 
So again, that, I want to make this point that if you're like, whoa, there's a million readings in this course. Well, some of them are, are strategic, right? Some of them are related to assignments. And uh, I'm going to try to be clear throughout this presentation what I want you focusing on. Okay. So yeah, so just to give you that idea. So all the course readings, so like, yeah, like developmental models of aging, you open this and you'll see this one, actually, there's like a video there that's like a TED talk that's pretty interesting. And then you'll see that there's like that one, which is like a PDF. And so basically my point is just that uh, one of the reasons it took me forever to get you the syllabus is I just wanted to make it so, I wanted to make it like this so that you can just have quick access. You're not like trying to find it all yourself, even though it's all available through the library. Okay, back to the syllabus. Okay, hoping this is still recording. This would be a good time to check that I'm using the right mic. Okay. Okay, course format, policy, yep, yep. Communication, that's all just the same. Just I'm using like kind of template stuff here. Okay, so then evaluation. I tried to make this class like as similar to the other class. Format wise, right? Obviously not content wise. Okay, so same idea where there's basically uh, half of your mark is going to be the quizzes and the quizzes are going to be based on the presentations I do. Okay, and I'll, I'll show you specifically what and then the reflections are going to be related to some of the non chapter presentations and some of the additional content right and now I'm going to try to be clear with you right I'm not going to I'm not one of those I always hated when profs were like here's a hundred things and then I'm going to randomly ask you questions and you know try to catch you for not reading one article it's like that's not the intent of this course at all I'm viewing that like uh, course readings archive as, as an archive it's an archive that means like a uh, a library of resources that you might find useful at different times for different reasons, right? Sometimes you might find an article really re interesting and you want to just read it. Sometimes I might be asking you to do a project on one of them or using that or reflecting on that, right? So basically the idea with this course is there's two reflection things like the one I've already given that I'm going to talk about at the end and, uh, and another one that's going to come later in the course. And then there's five times where there's a quiz, right? And the students that were in the course already, it's the exact same idea as last term. It's just going to be, so like the first quiz is on chapter eight. The second quiz is on chapter nine, 10, 11, 12, just like that. And then there's going to be the virtual adult assignment, which I'll explain like later in the course, the quest assignment. And then the final assignment, which I just made, which I think that you'll find interesting. Yeah, this is all just... Not that it doesn't matter, but I assume you just have that stuff in your other classes. Okay, so now what all I have here is um, basically saying that for each week, there's like the YouTube link and then the textbook, whatever article um, are associated with that week, right? But, and then at the end, and so you'll just see that's like week by week. And then I have like the bibliography or whatever at the end. Okay, so now all that's like a lot right my idea was to try to simplify this into like a one page handout that you can print out and what i basically tried to do with this is say okay what week is it what's the date what's the topic what am i going to be doing on youtube for you which is usually going to come out i'm aiming to have them everything come out on the fridays right and sometimes it would be, hopefully be a bit earlier so it's like okay date What's the topic? What am I going to be doing on YouTube? Am I giving you out anything that week? And then when is things due? When are things due? Right? So, so far I've done the chapter eight presentation. I've made that quiz uh, available. The social determinants topic, you'll see uh, that's kind of a question that's like social determinants sort of means like other factors is another way of saying that like other things that are cons are considerations that might be being missed 
right? So with this reflection that I'll I'll talk about in a bit uh, at the end, I'm t I couldn't be doing my uh, list of things here more out of order, don't you think so, Scotty? The cat's like now getting in on this. You see the cat's right there. Um. Okay, let me stay on topic. So then this week, like for Friday, I'm working on a presentation that's going to be on chapter nine and uh, the, the physical development aspect of adulthood. And I'm also going to be looking at that health prevention topic, right? This, so just to kind of break this down, right? Then you can kind of get the point. Then Friday, I'm also going to give you access to quiz two. Now, as far as the quizzes, I want to make this point too. I'm going to try to design this course to be a little more uh, choose your adventure in the sense of like you can do it at your own speed. So you'll notice, and this is similar to the student for the students that took my fall course, the quizzes aren't due till basically near the end, right? Second last week. I can't have things more than 20% due in the last week or I would just give you the whole time, but that's not, maybe not good for you anyways because you have other classes that will have things at the end too, obviously. Success wise, I would probably recommend chipping away as we go. But just to give additional flexibility, I basically don't ask for the quizzes until the end. Right, so you can see in the red where everything's due. So you see in the blue when I give it to you and in the red when it's due. Okay, so let's go back to this. Then week four, I'm going to talk about the development models of aging. Yeah, we're going to talk about kind of middle adulthood, chapter 10. That's going to be quiz three. Then in uh, week five. Yeah, I'm doing a, a special presentation called Self versus Other that I think you'll find interesting on uh, higher order cognitive functioning. The Self and Other presentation and the UMC presentation you see under underneath a couple, those will, will have relevance later in the course, right? Now, Mike, if they're not the focus of the reflection, and they're not the focus of the quizzes, and they're not the focus of the quest assignment, what would they be related to? Wink to anyone that's really listening. Okay, so then you see the personality in adulthood, right? When we do that week, I'll give out the second reflection, which will be due then on March 8th. Then you have your study week. Then I'm going to talk about uh, my mental health uh, treatment and issues in Canada and my UMC is just I've never room to write understanding meaningful change I want to do like a principles of psychotherapy sort of approach and talk about learned helplessness and learned optimism and how to actually help people that are help like understanding meaningful change that's my way of saying that like you know not all change is necessarily meaningful and how to actually have an effect on people that Well, it's lasting and that is meaningful. How do you actually do difficult things? How do you have meaningful change yourself? Do you, how do you break ingrained patterns? How do you get out of unhealthy relationships or situations? As a, as a mature adult dealing with the complexity of adulthood, how do you deal with your own difficult emotions or thoughts? How do you deal with you know needing to work on getting yourself as strong as you can, but also like needing to still live your life and take care of your responsibilities and how do you manage all that and how do you yeah so how do you understand that and then this is kind of getting into this this like the depths of adulthood or like the layers of adulthood and, and the next two presentations are getting into that idea of kind of interpersonal relationships in adulthood right so that's gonna be chapter 11 and 12 late and or middle and late adulthood like how does We're going to talk about things like marriage and divorce and friendship and loss and substance battles and physical and cognitive deterioration and 
how to how to prevent stuff like and at the end of the course we will talk about things like um even things like dementia and alzheimer's and but that's coming a little bit more into like week 12. week 11 then we're going to talk about that late period of adulthood and look at you know the transition between work and retirement and the role of leisure and stuff like that oh i'm kind of glossed over in week nine is when when i'll discuss the quest assignment you'll have two weeks to do that it's going to be again if you took this fall class it's going to be similar where i get you to play the the game or whatever with the with the characters but the characters will be the older characters it's like harvey and there's another one but i'll give you the assignment later maybe i could give you that assignment early if people want to work away at it because it's going to be a kind of small fun one and it's like it's an applied idea right it's like a uh an application of some of the related concepts we'll be talking about in the lectures that they've tried to gamify on this this quest thing that's like become part of the uh approved outline of these courses right so I, I needed to include it and i think i think people had a decent time with the last term so so there'll be another one of those and then yeah so then the end of the course death dying and bereavement that's an important lecture that's chapter 13 although there's no um assignment associated with that there's no quiz on that one it's kind of the last lecture then the last week i'll i'll, I'll do like my final words and overview and talk a little bit about some future directions in the study of aging or like kind of final thoughts and final thoughts and future directions. That used to be what everyone said. That just means it's like the last class. And then at the bottom here, I just tried to kind of simplify, right? And say like, okay, all quizzes basically are due March 29th, reflection one, February 9th, reflection two, March 8th, quest assignment, March 29th, final assignment, uh, April 5th, 5th. look at my list here where's my so i talked about this schedule readings and textbooks evaluations weekly plan first reflection okay so yeah so weekly plan just i guess is that um this week i'll be doing the chapter nine presentation and the second quiz will come out Okay, so all you've done so far, and, and again, if you haven't done anything, there's no late March or anything yet. Nothing's due for a while. The first reflection that just got given out will be due February 9th. And the first quiz is out, but again, those aren't due until the 29th of March. Okay, so I think I went over, oh, the textbook, just in case there's any new people. New meaning just that you weren't in the class last term. And I know that there's a few, but I think quite a few of the students that are that hadn't had me before I've been in contact with and I, and have this sorted already. So if you don't, just let me know. Um, but are you seeing this? This is the problem with uh, doing making these videos with two screens. It's like it's easier in a way, but I'm like never confident I'm showing the right part. Uh, okay, so this is what I would say the best option would be in a way is if you don't want the hard copy, get the Connect Instant Access that gives you the ebook and it gives you the uh, ability to do the quest game. If you want the print text, then you could go with that too. All right, McGraw Hill, you know, textbook companies are textbook companies, but they're not that bad, uh, at least with this specific book. And then I guess the last thing I'll show you, yeah, the NU Digital Classroom. You've all heard of it. Um, <laughs> you've all heard of it. It's super famous. Some of my videos have 30 views. No, I'm just joking, but it's fun. It's uh, actually the, the story behind that is that when I started making videos, whenever the first one was for Nipissing, maybe th I think this is my third year. Uh, so whatever the fall of like, not last year, but the year before. And then I was like making the videos and the first video I made was huge. It was like, I think it's still on here and it's uh, like developmental. It's like chapter one or whatever. And uh, 
I remember trying to get that on the Nipissing site and it was like way too big of a file. And then they had me like send it to IT and then they were like trying to figure out how to make it smaller and all this stuff. And then I had the idea of like, why don't I just put it on YouTube and just put links. And uh, yeah, so what I'm based and so the reason I do it is because it avoids like a lot of um, there's just no cap on file size. So I can just make the presentation however I want and give you the link. All right. Anyways, it's not like I have to explain to everyone what YouTube is. Have you heard of this thing called uh, the World Wide Web? Okay, I think that's everything. And I'm getting uh, making dumb dad jokes. That probably is a good sign that it's uh, time to end the presentation. All right. I'm not sure how long that is, but I think we covered it all. We caught, talked about the schedule, the readings. Oh, the readings. Just the point that, like, I don't want. I'll kind of as we go week by week. I'll kind of let you know how much to focus on the extra readings, right? Like I would say really focus on the PowerPoints that I'm presenting for the quizzes. And then some of the other readings you'll see that I kind of focus assignments towards them, right? So, and a lot of them are also there as like additional interesting things on those topics, right? So to, if you're interested to, you know, read a bit more. All right, I'll talk to you soon. And if people have questions, just let me know and I'll, I'll address them. Uh, either directly or if it's something I'm getting from a bunch of people, I'll make a quick video. All right. Cheers.